Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to talk about Yersinia pestis bacteria. Yersinia pestis bacteria characteristics, Yersinia pestis microbiology and so much more details. So the first thing that we want to talk about is gram nature of Yersinia pestis and the gram nature stated here is gram negative in nature. Yes, Yersinia pestis is gram negative in nature. The disease the Yersinia pestis cause is plague, bubonic plague pneumonic plague and septicemic forms that are out there and this Yersinia pestis caused huge decline in the population of human earlier in our history. Classification based on the oxygen requirement we can say that it is facultative anaerobe that means it can grow with or without oxygen. Regarding nutrition it is heterotrophic in nature that means it utilizes organic compound as a carbon source for their energy. Virulence factors of Yersinia pestis. Virulence factors Yersinia outer proteins known as YOPS, YOPS are out there. What is the job of YOP? It inhibits the phagocytosis and modulates the host immune response. The next one is F1 capsular antigen. This protects the bacterium from the host defenses and prevent the phagocytosis process. And the third one is type 3 secretion system. With the help of this type 3 secretion system, it injects effector proteins inside the host cell that can initiate the pathogenic activities. Okay. Next parameter we are going to talk is incubation period. And the incubation period that we generally hear is variable, but typically ranges from 2 days to 8 days for bubonic plague only. Next parameter we are going to talk is antibiotic susceptibility. What antibiotic can kill Yersinia pestis? Susceptible to antibiotics like streptomycin, gentamicin and tetracycline antibiotics. Antibiotic resistance. If we talk about antibiotic resistance, resistance has been observed, particularly in some isolated strains, okay, but not very common. What are the cultured methods of Yersinia pestis? So, it can be grown on specialized culture media that is McConkey agar and Yersinia selective agar media particularly designed to grow Yersinia pestis. The next one is the detection method. We have three detection method to discuss about. The first method that is used here is the culture method. In this culture method, we have iso like we, are, we take isolates of Yersinia pestis from clinical samples. Either it can be blood sample, sputum sample or lymph node sample coming out from the lymph nodes. Next uh, detection method that we can utilize are polymerase chain reaction, particularly some molecular technique that can detect the specific DNA component of Yersinia pestis. The third important detection method that we can choose is serological tests. And in this serological test, it detects the antibodies against Yersinia pestis antigens, example F1 antigen and other antigens can be easily detected. Uh, the antibody against these antigen are produced by the body that can be easily detected by this serological assays. So that concludes our understanding of Yersinia pestis microbiology, Yersinia pestis characteristics. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.